Here we are in the studio. Let's get ready to paint. Hey, Sharon Durbin Graves, painting with acrylics101.com here in my frigid, snowy, icy Kentucky studio. <laughs> it's a mess out there today. <laughs> the whole state is, is come to a screeching halt. But in my studio, it's good and warm, and we're gonna work on um, palette knife painting and we're, this is the second video in this series and we are going to uh, put on backgrounds today so let's get started okay the plan for today is to get uh, a background on this this is a five by seven it's very small we're going to use a big knife and i've got a few colors on my palette i'm using a big knife because i'm doing backgrounds so one thing about palette knives is you can put one color on top of the other um, differently than you can with a brush. You can't do this with a brush. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of purple. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it over here on my palette, add a little blue to it, mix that a little bit. Now, the great equalizer for any acrylic paint is white. So I'm gonna add some white to see what I have. I'm not mixing it up completely. I'm going to add a little more blue to it. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to get it on. I'm wiping off everything off the front of my knife. And I'm picking it up on the back. Again, picking it up on the back. very purple. I'm going to pick up some blue and add that over here on this side, wiping off everything on the front and picking it up on the back. I want different variations here. Okay. Now I'm going to add some more white to that mix. I'm going down to about here. Whoops. <laughs> Right about in here, we're gonna stop. Okay, so we need to get some variation in there. Now this is turquoise deep. You have to be very careful with turquoise because it eats up everything. And it just ate up that whole pile of paint there. <laughs> okay, so again, everything is off the front and I'm picking it up on the back. Now, depending on what you're trying to accomplish here, this can be very smooth or very rough. I'm going to add some more white to that. It needs to get lighter as it comes down. Okay, I'm wiping that off the front, picking it up on the back. Adding some more white to it. Taking it off the front, picking it up on the back. Okay, so you can see that it comes down, it gets, starts darker here, it gets lighter. Now in my camera, as I'm looking at it, I see kind of a harsh line in here. I don't want a harsh line. There we go. That looks a little better. That looks a little better. Okay, I'm not wiping this off. I'm just gonna pull it off, okay? So here comes some green. I'm gonna work over here in the blue Blue and green work together really well, as does that purple. I could pull that purple in there too. Not much of it left, but we could put some in there. Green and purple are some of my very favorite color combinations. Okay, so now here, I'm coming across. I'm just wiping it off and I'm picking it up with the back of the knife, bringing it across. 
Okay, now I'm going to add, I get, this is the yellow that I got with, on, on my finger. <laughs> I'm going to add that in there. It needs to get lighter as it comes towards you. Darker back, cooler back, warmer, more detail in the front. Okay, so I have, I'm wiping it off, picking up on the back. This paint is very thick, it's very wet, and even though it's acrylic, it will stay wet for a long time because it's so wet. <laughs> There's so much, I'm putting so much on there. Okay, so I added a little white. I'm gonna add some more yellow, bring some of that darker back down in there maybe a little bit. Again, flipping off. Sometimes your color that you just added will end up on the front of your knife and you want it to mix. So you have to pull that off and then you can mix it. Now, the common, most common mistake beginners make is they mix too much. They just keep mixing. And you don't want to do that. You want to see some variations of a theme in your paint. See how all that white is right there? I'm going to pull that off. Okay. Now this is very wet. I can't pick it up without getting it on me. But I'm going to where it goes down underneath that lip I'm just trying to get the paint in there. And all I'm doing over here is picking up paint, not mixing anything that you can't see. No secret sauce going on over there. I'm just trying not to get paint <laughs> all over me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put it back here. Okay, now I want, this is all going to be grass. We're, Last week I did a um, video, no, t yeah, I guess it was last week, last Friday, I guess, I did a video tutorial on painting a tree, and we did it with brushes, and we're going to do that very same thing, sort of, <laughs> with a palette knife. So, back here, we need to get some grasses going up. I'm just... Touching and flicking up. Now, in that, I picked up some blue paint, and it's showing in. Right there is some blue. I, I love it. I'm never going to take that out. Now, you can also take your knife. And scratch something into the paint. A tree's going to go right in here, so I don't really care. I'm not wild about these marks, so I'm going to come back in here and just pull, touch and pull up. I'm not trying to scratch. I'm just, I'm making some stroke marks, but I think this looks better. This is how you would get a background. So our next video, not today, but next week, um, Tuesday, uh, painting that tree on there. I want to wipe this off. I don't want the paint to dry on my knife because then it won't work right. Okay, so you can see I've already got some that has dried. So I'm putting that in the water, rinsing that around, and I want to get that paint off of there. I don't want it to um, injure the knife. I don't want it to build up on the knife. I want that knife. This is a very good flexible knife. I want that flexibility. And if you let your paint dry on there, it's very hard to get off. Where in this part, you know, now when it's still wet, it's one of the best things about painting with. Um, a palette knife is there isn't all that brush cleaning up afterwards. So anyway, um, 
thanks for being here and uh, I hope that you're gonna give this a try you could do this kind of a background for just about anything but we're um, a palette knife really for beginners lends itself really well to doing a landscape so that's why we're going to put a tree maybe some bushes things like that in there so I um, hope that this has been helpful to you if it was mm, you know what to do give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel leave a comment um, let me know what you're doing what you're working on what you'd like to learn I'd love to teach it have a great day let's paint together real soon